Some surnames are occupational. People got them because of the jobs they did. Some are obvious. Cooper, Potter, Weaver. Webb was another name for a weaver. A Webster was a female weaver. Wheeler was another name for a wheelwright. Mercer was a dealer in fine cloth. A fowler caught birds and a granger looked after a farm or grange. A hooper made hoops for barrels and an inman was an innkeeper. A spooner made spoons. A cartwright made carts, obviously, but a wainwright also made carts. Lister is another name for dyer, and a chapman sold goods at market. The surname Herd comes from somebody who looked after herds. The surname Coward comes from Cow Herd. There was also a hog ward who looked after pigs, and that gave us the surname Hoggart, H-O-G-G-A-R-T. A stot, S-T-O-T, was a young ox, and stoddard comes from the words stot herd. Were serfs or bondmen and so we have the surname Bond. Some peasants, though, were free, and free became the surname Fry. A Franklin was a well-off farmer who owned his own land. Foster is a corruption of Forrester. Yates and Yateman are corruptions of Gates and Gateman. A parker looked after the game park where the Lord hunted. Warner comes from Warrener, a man who looked after rabbit warrens. The surname Dempster comes from an old English word Deemster, which meant judge. A beadle was a court official. A chamberlain was an important official in a castle. Chambers comes from somebody who looked after the king's or lord's chambers. A kitchener washed up. Spencer comes from dispenser, a man who dispensed things. A marshal was in charge of the seating arrangements, and in a castle it was very important to sit at the right place at the table. Baker and brewer are obvious, but in the Middle Ages there were also female bakers and brewers. Baxter meant a woman baker, and Brewster meant a woman brewer. A Whitbread was a person who made fine white flour for the upper classes. Poor people ate coarse dark bread. Fisher is obvious. But some people specialised in catching a certain type of fish, so we have surnames like Pike and Tench. A waterman rowed a boat or a barge. A turner made things like wooden bowls on a lathe. In the Middle Ages, an ark was a wooden chest, so an arkwright was a man who made wooden chests. A crocker made crocks or pots. A frobisher polished armour or swords. A bowyer made bows. A fletcher made the shafts of arrows. And a stringer or a string fellow made the strings for bows. Before wool can be spun, it has to be cleaned in a mixture of water and clay. Originally people did it with their feet and they're called walkers. Later it was done by wooden hammers worked by a water mill. It was called fulling and the people who did it were called fullers. 
A pluma sold feathers. People used to wear them in their hats. A Burgess was a man of some importance who lived in a town. Some people got their surname from the place where they lived. Hillman, Underwood and Town's End are obvious examples. Another word for a valley was bottom. So we have surnames like Ramsbottom and Longbottom. Some people got the surname Green because they lived by the village Green. A hearst was a wooded hill. A halt was a small wood. Shaw was a northern word for wood. Bradshaw meant Broadshaw, Broadwood. Some people took their surname from their father. So we have surnames like Dixon, Wilson. Watt was short for Walter, so we have Watson. An S at the end of a name also meant son of. So we have surnames like Peters, Stevens and Andrews. People called David were sometimes called Davy. So we have surnames like Davies and Davis. Men called Nicholas were sometimes called Nickel. So we have names like Nichols and Nicholson. Bartlett meant Little Bart. Willet meant Little Will and Hewitt meant Little Hugh. If somebody was rather arrogant, they might be given a nickname as a surname, like King or Prince. Somebody who was strong might be given a surname like Strong or Armstrong. However, the surname Bragg, B-R-A-G-G, meant bold or daring. Somebody who is short might be given a surname like small. Crippin meant curly head. A pollard was a bald man. A person with dark hair might be given the surname black. Blake is a corruption of black. Some people were given surnames like Wise, Swart or Young. Some people were given a surname because of the way they walked, like Steptoe or Go Lightly. Reed is a corruption of Red, a surname given to people with red hair. Russell was also a surname given to people with red hair. Some people were given surnames like Wise, Swart or Young. Of course, there are far too many surnames to put them all here, but hopefully this gave you an interesting taster.